Guess who's going to London? <laughs> Afternoon, good evening, whatever time you're seeing me. Welcome or welcome back to my channel for new. Hi, hey, what's up? But how's your day going? How's your day going? How's your day going? Mine is going great. Oh god, please. So before I go on, let me show you the fit. I'm wearing this jacket that I thrifted. Everything I'm wearing right now is thrifted. But like yeah, this is from New Lubus thrifted. Um yeah, and I'm wearing this boots. Hopefully that makes sense. I picked this off like three days ago because I didn't have the strength to be wearing one of my outfits for today. You know? And it's cozy, so. And I'm pairing it with this bag, with my bag. Yeah, yeah. I would like to say thank you to Teddy Flick for sending me this bag. I am so honored that they gave me and gifted this bag to me like I basically planned this outfit, green on green. Anyways, your bag is made from premium Italian leather, made by experienced craftsmen, made in Italy, and they have dream designs on their website. Suitable for anyone who's looking for a particular bag that suits that kind of style. They have every kind of bag for every kind of style. So what are you waiting for? Go to my description box, click their link, and see what you like. Come on, see what you like. This bag is going to go everywhere with me, just not to school. Just not to school, because this bag is too premium to be in school. So, I still have stuff to pack. And to be fair, two days ago I thought I had like a toiletry bag to pull up to put all my toiletries in. But then after I had a shower, I was like, wait, I only have two bags. And one bag is for my makeup, the other one is for my skincare and body care. The third one, I don't got a third one. You, you see? They're going to follow me to Poundland to get the bag and I'll come back. But like I need to just do the main pack so that I don't get my brain messed up, you know? So I feel like I should give a context of why I'm traveling to London for the weekend. Long story short, my dad is in the UK. It's me London. Of course I have to travel for the weekend to see my daddy. I love my daddy and spend the weekend with him. My week has been hectic. To be honest, my week has been very hectic. I'm not going to lie, I've had so much going on. Like again, if I like again, I can say it's over and over again. If you keep my videos are always like, how do I say, a continuous story after another continuous story. I'm so confused on what I'm doing right now. It's been rehearsals again all through the week, and I love it. It's been great. And yesterday it was Thanksgiving in the US, so my tutor, she's American, so she gave us Thanksgiving pecan pie, pumpkin pie, something of a pie with sweet potatoes in it, then with this sour, uh, sour crouch buns. Forgive me if I'm pronouncing the names wrong. Today I still have class to go, and my train leaves for 6.30 and my class ends by 5. So I need to pack everything I need to pack right this, this morning and reach and come pack everything I need to pack this morning so that once I come out from the class I can just pack carry my bag and vamos. So I've packed three outfits then I just added like a shirt um a short my big hoodie because that that's an outfit to me too. It's my lazy outfit. So bag is here. I have three shoes I have again makeup bag right this is my skincare bag have to load it, makeup bag inside here. I can't bring it out for you guys. Sorry, my planner, my other bags because outfits you can't have a great outfit without a, without a outstanding bag. And also, if you're asking me why am I carrying a big bag to travel for three days, it's because my dad is bringing some things that I wanted from Nigeria to me. So, my bag, and I'm also buying clothes. I plan, buying, I plan on buying things tomorrow. So, 
I don't have, I don't want to start suffering, suffering by bringing a smaller bag and I just carry some things and I buy some things and it's not enough. It's not buying, it's not getting a new bag, you know. So, just carry a big bag so that I can fit everything in my bag. Hopefully that makes sense. Hopefully this makes sense. I'm done. Class is my obviously my one, so I have quite some time to myself. It's 9:48 and Palma has already opened, so lucky me. I'm done. Yay. Hello guys, so I just got back and outside is so cold. I got this cosmetic bag for four pounds. So this was the only bag I saw in Poundland, so just got it. And it came with this free bag inside, so why not? And I got this vanish stain bar to like wash underwear because I don't wash my, my my panties in the washing machine. I'm done. Look how pretty it looks. I'm actually kind of excited. It's done. It's done. So I'll see you guys in class. I'm done with class now. Time to go to my to do accommodation and pack the remaining of my stuff because yeah. Hopefully you can hear me. It's 624 and I'm in my train to York. I suffer at York the major standards King's Cross. Yeah. I keep sorry for me. I don't want to go into the to the phone. I'm not even trying to vlog. I'm doing my best. So somebody walked in anyways. Um London's King Cross, and it goes to parking somewhere in London. I can't pronounce the name of the new screen. Um, yeah, Jamie by 634. Mind you, this is my first time going to London. Well, I didn't mean to, I didn't mean to tell you that. I'm actually, like, the estimated time on reaching where my destination is supposed to be is um, 10.55. But I think I'm actually getting by 11.30 because of some things I saw about strikes and whatever. Yeah, someone's just coming again. I don't care. Like I said, I'm on the wrong seats because I don't like the windows that I had, so I changed it to a different windows because I like the windows seats. Three, two, one. <laughs> arguing again, arguing about something so simple. Make it clear, tell me why you're running back to him. Feeling insecure, feeling like there's more to your character. Every tear that you cry is worth it in the end. But baby, tell me, how have you not figured it out? So I'm currently on the train from New York to London to Kings Cross. See you guys later because. <laughs> yeah, I don't have any resources, guys. What's up? Hey, Daddy! So, who's the one your back now? Me or you? Hey, Daddy! Hey, Daddy! Come on, high five! You can see, can see my signature over the whole face. High right? five now, don't be. <laughs> hey, guys! 
I have suffered in the hands of London. <laughs> Hi, I got lost like three times. I got on two different trains to the wrong places and pause. Now before you feel like skipping this or whatever, I have to explain how I got lost. So anyways, I booked my ticket through train line, an app that makes you, allows you to, you know, book tickets for trains to whatever. Something is in my eye. Okay. So yeah, I reached London's King's Cross, the overground. The next thing I was supposed to do was switch to London Underground, which I didn't know at the time because it just showed me the little sign. Those that live in London probably get what I mean, but like the little sign with a dash on it. I recognized the sign, but I didn't know what it meant. But anyways, I just went to London Underground anyways, and I asked questions. Everybody kept on saying, I don't know, 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 I don't know. 15 minutes passed by and I thought and I really thought I missed my train so I called my dad and I was like hi daddy I'm lost please help me and I was literally on the verge of tears I was sad I didn't know who I didn't know how I got myself into this mess I really wanted to vlog it but like I might I was too unstable to even think about vlogging or carrying on my cat my phone and be like hey guys I'm lost uh, you know weird Anyways, I panicked so bad that I went into the wrong train. So instead of it taking me to East London, it was taking me to Central London. And I didn't know because I didn't like sit down to carry my phone and actually study the, the map of the tube map of London, you know? So I was literally going far to the central, literally Edgeware, Edgeware Road. That's where I was. Instead of being a barking, you know? So I was there and I called my dad. I'm like, hi dad, I'm in Edgeware Road. And he was like, how did you even get there? Then he explained again and I was like, okay, okay, okay. Let's see what happens. Let's try this again. It took me another hour to reach Edgeware Road to Barking using the Hammer, Smith and City line. Uh, for those that don't understand, you won't understand, but those that live in London or, you know, have ever gone to London or have used the underground trains will probably understand this. But yeah, I got lost. Thrice. Yeah. It's good times. But that will teach me never, never to get lost again, because now I know my way, practically, now. I'm back home, obviously, but still, you know, still some things to note about. Anyways back for this video to end go back it's currently 11 21 and my daddy is in the toilet but i'm i'm gonna end this video here because i don't have the strength to talk more but like i got lost and i'm here that's basically it <laughs> yeah and i think me and i'm thinking of going to go and get some food because i'm hungry and i'm not eating for the day so I'm going to end this video here to anyone that watched this video Jesus make sure to like comment and subscribe do all the need for and I love you Mwah. I love you you so love me so you love them I love you all there bye ah, what a day <laughs>